Good morning, fishing girl. We're down here at Flagler Beach this morning. The sun is just coming up. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but we've got the sun coming up. We're gonna get out there, get fishing. I'm testing some new equipment today. I'm gonna show it to you when we get on the beach. So we'll see you in just a few minutes. Look at this drop off. So they have, I think they, what they've been doing is shipping in sand and it's just changed the face of this beach so much. We're gonna go down here where it's, yeah, it's crazy. So I am rigged up on this. It's a Lady Dagger uh, 11 foot surf rod from Ninja Tackle. Trying this out for the first time today. We're gonna see how it goes, but it's beautiful. Beautiful rod. I love the, the pink on it, of course, for, the, for ladies, the Lady Dagger. So I've heard so many people talk about the Ninja Dagger rod that um, I have, always wanted to try it out so we're gonna we're gonna be testing this out and seeing how it works I've got a, the reel on here is the Akuma Rockaway 6,000 reel I believe this is 20 pound mono that we've got hooked up on here so let's uh, I'm gonna keep this rolling while I cast I'll be putting my camera on the tripod soon so you, we can see how it casts see the action of it actually went straighter than when I usually cast it. It's like arcing way up. And uh, this time, using this rod, it was like it went straight out instead of up. Which is what you want. Alright, so we've got this. We're going to set the drag. There's not much of a bend on the rod. Of course, it's not as tall of a rod as the, um, the Akuma Rockaway. But this is a light action, I believe, so we're going to... We can tighten it up a bit more here. I'm just trying to make sure I don't lose the... Uh, I want to make sure that the Sputnik is still down in there. So there we go. I was trying to rig something up and something's getting, something's hitting this. Let's see if it's still on. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's still on there. Let's grab this and see. Let's see if we can tighten it a bit. Alrighty, here we go. First cast, first fish of the Lady Dagger. Let's see what we got. Please don't be a catfish. This still feels like it's loose and it feels like there's still a fish on. <laughs> Shouldn't be tightening this while I'm trying to reel in. <laughs> All right, maybe a nice whiting. Yeah, we got a whiting. I'll take it. Way better than a catfish. First fish of the day. It didn't get skunked. And that was on the uh, Pompano Rich rig. I've got shrimp fish bites on here, bright green. Shrimp fish bites. And then I had a bit of live shrimp on there too. So get this guy off of here. Let you see the sun rising as I do it. He is a little over nine. We'll let him back. Saved by your size. So I have to show you this 
because this morning they gave me some of the smallest little shrimp that I have ever seen. Look at this. <laughs> it's so tiny. Have you ever had a shrimp that tiny? I haven't. All right, right here I've got my Akuma Rockaway 12-foot rod that I got from the Fish Bites Trading Post. Um, I've got on here a mortician rig. Found out about the mortician rig from uh, Chip Brunnage, the sinker guy. I've also got his uh, Sputnik on here too. And I've also got his glass beads on here. These glass beads imitate what's natural on the beach. They clack together. I've got uh, some uh, frozen shrimp on here. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna throw this um, ninja tackle rod back out, this lady dagger. And so we're gonna have both of these, but I wanted to wait because I wanted to get both of these rigged up and then throw them out and then we'll see what happens with both of these rods right now. Okay, I'm trying to get this rod set and that one's already getting hit, the Akuma Rockaway. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Some pretty strong pulling. That was, I threw it and it landed right in front of the sandbar. That probably second one out there. Because we're at low tide, so it's pretty, uh, shallow and it's easy to get out there that far hey dude you're pulling way over there what do I got okay I don't want to lose him that's a nice fish oh that is a beautiful whiting look at that you are a keeper for sure oh he came right off the rod oh my gosh dude okay okay Nope, 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 I gotcha. Nope, I don't gotcha. Can't drop my rod, but I want my fish. <laughs> wow. Now that is the biggest whiting I've caught in a while. It's been a hot minute since I got one this big. We're gonna get a measure on him. Okay, okay, I gotcha. That is good 14 and a half inch whiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. So I'm gonna put him in this cooler. Let's see how I did this cooler? Just for you. <laughs> and then we're gonna bleed him out while he's still alive and get this back out there. That was on the mortician rig. And I believe we had sand flea fish bites. Yeah, it used to be sand flea fish bites and uh I believe that was purple beads. All right, that was a really nice whiting I just caught. I'm gonna rebate. We're gonna get this back out there and see what we can catch. Well, we've got all three lines out. Now we're just gonna watch and see what happens. on Flagler Beach. I'm out here fishing. Finally, it's been a bit. I, I'll bring you over to show you what I got so far. I had a small whiting that I threw back and then I had a real good hit. And I'll, I'll turn this around. This is actually the nicest whiting I've gotten in a bit. So right here, here, I've already bled them out, but about 14 and a half inches. Nice whiting. We're just watching now to see what else we can get. That was right about, uh, it's low tide here, 84 degree water temperature, but low tide.
So I was able to reach that sandbar and I was right in front of the sandbar is where I had thrown it and uh, oh, whoa, we're getting hit. I'm gonna try to keep you guys on the line while I get, I don't know how I'm gonna reel this in <laughs> and hold my phone at the same time, but yeah, this is gonna be weird. But uh, maybe I will set the phone down. This is the first thing, but stay back here. See, see me maybe reeling in. It feels like a strong bite. So uh, I wish it was a little more slanted so you could see me better. Oh, it's on top of the water. I know you can't see it. <laughs> Getting it all on video. What do we have here? Oh, that's another. connect okay trying to reconnect here for those of you that saw me getting hit and I set my phone down <laughs> all right let's say so I just while I was live here I caught dude can you chill I can't even set my rod down <laughs> let me turn this around all right, nice whiting. I'm gonna get him off the hook here. Try to do this with one hand. There he is. And I'm sorry, I gotta set you guys down. I'll turn it around again. Here I am. Okay. This is really a strange live stream because I didn't expect to catch a fish while I was on. <laughs> I've always wondered what I would do if that happened, but I think you guys would rather see me live catching a fish. Hello. Than just standing here talking to you about 84 degrees water and one to two foot waves. Well, we're gonna measure this guy, so bear with me. Come down here. Dude, chill. 12 inch water. Yep, we got a 12 inch whiting here. The one I caught earlier was about 14 and a half. So, um, yeah. So things are going pretty good right now. If you're chatting on the live stream, it's not, show, it's not showing me the chat right now. So I don't know why. Uh, live chat. Okay, hey James, yeah, good luck. I, I, need, I didn't need it, I guess, because I already <laughs> have a fish coming in, so. I'm gonna bleed this guy out. We're gonna catch you guys later, but we're catching fish down here at Flagler Beach and I might be getting hit again. So I'll let you guys go. We'll see ya. So this line here, this is the, uh, this is also a Lady Dagger by um, Ninja Tackle. I've just got a single drop rig here with purple glass beads and fish bites and uh, live shrimp. And then I also have a four ounce sinker on this because this is weighted up to five ounces and I wanna see how far I can cast it. So I'm testing this rod out today. I've got this paired with the um, Pen Battle 3. Like it goes so much straighter with this rod. So, for those of you who want to know what is in this magic cup that I bring with me every time I'm out here fishing in the morning, this is my favorite coffee to make. <laughs> it's got like zero sugar. I use monk fruit and um, 
like a caramel skinny syrup that doesn't have any uh, sugar or any calories. So literally like 10 calories, my iced coffee. But yeah, this is my iced coffee. I make it with Kahlua uh, K-Cups. <laughs> There's no alcohol in it, just, just saying. But I love the flavor of the, the Kahlua coffee with the caramel syrup. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. And I sweeten it with, all right, I use, instead of creamer, I use almond milk. So then maybe that adds like 10 calories, but this is my 10 calorie coffee. If you're wondering what I'm drinking out here, it's Kahlua iced coffee. Well, I've got one more rod to bring in. We're packing up, caught some good whiting to bring home. One of the biggest ones I've caught recently. So that was really fun. Was able to catch a fish live while I was doing the beach conditions report which was kind of a first for me. I've always wanted to catch something while I was doing the report and today it happened. So if you enjoyed this content, push that like, push the subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get uh, an alert every time I go live, every time you could be watching me while I catch a fish next time if you're subscribed. So I know there's a bunch of you watching who aren't subscribed to the channel yet. If you can just subscribe, that would help me out a ton. Thank you so much. But we're growing, we're expanding, and I'm starting to run charters on the beach. So if you uh, have someone, a woman in your life, or if you want to come on the charter, if you're a man, as long as there's a woman on the charter, that's fine. We can uh, set that up. So go to my website, fishinggirlflorida.com. I'm booking now. We will have the membership site up and running. It's been a lot of video editing, a lot of preparation. I've got my kids home for the summer. We've got to have people visiting. I also run a book design business, so I've got a lot going on, but I am so excited to see what is happening with Fishing Girl and the doors that God is opening up for me here. And I'm so excited to share new things and new uh, expansions that God is doing with Fishing Girl. So until next time, we'll see you, Fishing Girl.